Okay, we saw in the video just before this one that there are two types of isomers, constitutional and stereoisomers. This video will be looking at constitutional isomers. A constitutional isomer is this. Two compounds that have the same formula, same molecular formula, but the order of bonding is different. The order that atoms are connected to each other is different. So we'll say that like this. Same formula, different order of bonding. What does that mean? Let's look at a few examples. Here we go. Several examples, and how we'll do it each time is first be sure that the compounds even have the same number of um, it's the same formula. If they don't have the same formula, then they're not isomers at all. So we take a look. Carbon, 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 carbon. That's five, six, seven, eight. And we know that there are 18 hydrogens. No rings, no double bonds. And here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Also, C8, H18. We can see right away that the order of bonding is different. I think the easiest way to see that is to highlight the parent chain, the longest continuous chain. And right away I see that the longest chain here is 5, the longest chain here is 4, still the same formula, different order of bonding, so these are constitutional isomers. How about the next example? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 carbon, 6, 7, 8. Same compound as this, actually. C8H18, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Also, C8H18. How do these two compounds compare? Let's check. The longest continuous chain here is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So even though they have the same formula, I can tell the order of bonding is different. The way the atoms are connected is different. These are constitutional isomers. All the examples on this page are examples of constitutional isomers. Next, what if we have an alkene, a double bond? Can we have constitutional isomers there? Sure. Let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six carbons, if there's a double bond, will be 12 hydrogens. You could count to check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Also C6H12. So we know right away they have the same formula. This has a longest chain of five with a methyl branching off. This has the longest chain of six. Different type of, different order of bonding. These are constitutional isomers. How about the next example? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, C6H12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, also C6H12. And let's look at the longest chain, the parent chain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So far they're similar. Same formula. They each have the longest chain of 6. Each one has just a single double bond, one double bond right here. One double bond, one double bond. But look, the position of the double bond is different. If we were to, um, to number this, this chain, we can see on the left one, the double bond is between carbon 2 and 3. It starts at carbon 2, and here it starts at carbon 1. In between carbon 1 and 2, it starts at carbon 1. That's a different order of bonding. These are different compounds. This one is called 2-hexene. This one is called 1-hexene. These are constitutional isomers. Same formula, different order of bonding. Here's an example that might be worth looking at. This is an alkane, cycloalkane. This is an alkene but they're actually constitutional isomers also. One, two, three, four, five. 
and because there's a ring it's C5H10 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, also C5H10 and definitely these are a different order of bonding. They're not connected in the same order. This one has a ring, this one does not. Double bond, no double bond. So these are constitutional isomers. Um, and then these last two examples, one, two, three, four, five. This is C5H10, one, two, three, four, five. C5H10 also, there's a sing, just one ring, so C5H10. Definitely different order of bonding, so these are constitutional isomers. And then the last example is also C5H10. One, two, three, four, five with alkene. So even though one is a alkene and one has a ring, if they have the same molecular formula, the same formula, different order of bonding, these are constitutional isomers. So constitutional isomers, same formula, they will have different names, different chemical and uh, physical properties, or different physical properties, different order of bonding. And again, so we can look, before we close this video, what we just did was give an example of this type of isomer. There's two types of isomers. We've just talked about constitutional isomers. In the next video, let's take a look at stereoisomers.